G'day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Stemia21 and today I'm bringing you a subscriber replay. This is Oak EU, a player from the EU server um, and he has his own YouTube channel. Um, he's also one of my subscribers. Um, his YouTube channel is um, a very informative and well structured uh, channel with lots of uh, good replays by himself and subscribers as well. Um, Everything there is pretty top notch um, and really entertaining to watch. He's, he's got a bit of humour in there, and uh, all the information is just solid. Um, a, lot, a lot better than my information that I um, can draw upon. So, yeah, and what you can find there is um, a lot of uh, basically from the different several, several nations. You can find Chinese tanks, German tanks, uh, British tanks. American tanks as well, and I've forgotten one, I'm sure. Oh, and some French tanks, sorry. Yes. He's just recently done an AMX 12T uh, review, and uh, the reviews he does is quite structured in the fact that he starts off in the garage, tells you he goes through all the different soft stats and tanks, hard stats that it's got. Uh, so, and then he goes on to a replay where he shows you a couple of different plays and how to u play the tank. Um, and yeah, it's it's really it's all really good stuff. And um, yeah, so I'll put his a link to his channel in the des description. Um, and I suggest you subscribe to him because uh, it's really good stuff. So, without further ado, we'll move on to his replay. So. Ron Himmelsdorf, uh, one of my favourite maps, uh, mainly for the hilliness and I like urban maps. And he's in his AMX 12T tier 6 French light tank. Um, the, f the light tank, uh, this particular light tank is is okay. Everything about it is just okay. Like it's got it's got nice burst damage potentials because. The tank can do 135 average damage per, sh per hit, so in theory you should be doing, what, 6 shots, so let's work this out, so 100, 600, uh, 35 times 6, 5 times 630, so 630, and then the two 630s. I'll do 180, so you've got, oh, around 800, 800 something damage, I can't work it out in my head, sorry, I would get calculator out, but I'm too lazy, but, yeah, it's around 800 burst damage you can get out of this, um, clip, which isn't bad for a light tank, so, and the, just to excuse the zooming in of the map, um, the penetration of 144 is not too bad, it's the same, it's about the same as the, um, the conk, not Conqueror, the um, Comet um, gun that, that the tank has. Also the penetration of the APCR is uh, pretty good. Now he has the same ratio that I run in my tank. He has 18 um, AP to 12 APCR and no HE. This tank only carries 30 rounds so you've got to be very careful with, what, with your shots and actually make sure they're aimed in and stuff like that, so if you want, if you want to have a good game and you want to be able to carry, you got to make sure you don't waste your shots on just random shots. So, so blind firing isn't really a um, option in this tank. Well, it, it can be, but not if you think you're going to need them later. So, in my mind, I would save your shots for later. Uh, he also He's also running a small first aid kit, small repair kit, and a fire extinguisher. The only difference for me is I run a large repair, uh, first aid kit, and I run uh, either food or um, what do you call it? The uh, fuel, the either the normal fuel, or the premium fuel, depending on how much money I've got at the time. I tend to use my premium tanks to keep my main tanks pimped up. Basically, he's also got um, vents, I believe, and he has binocular telescope and a camouflage net, which is. Uh, a good um, use of the tank. I've currently got um, a gun laying drive and a camo net on mine as well as vents. The gun laying drive is actually a mistake. I mounted that and I haven't got any gold to unmount it. I don't want to destroy it. So yes, that's uh, me derping around in my tank. But that's 
this replay is not about me, it's about Oak. So let's see him continue this replay. Now he's going up to the Nana Road, which uh, is on the 8th line, 8 7 line of the map. Now he sees it looks, takes a shot and misses. Takes a shot in return from a T29. Destroys the looks with a sieve two shots to the rear. Narrowly misses a shot from an AMX M445. And then starts to lay into this uh, 5916 tier 6. French light tank. He has a good replay of the uh, 5916 as well, so if you're interested in that tank, go check it out. So he now manages to get away with only uh, 202 hit points left. Um, probably not the wisest play, but he. Uh, it's very rare that people tend to evenly space themselves out like this. The enemy team was quite clever in that respect. Um, I found. So, so what's well he's got many? He's got many options left of him because he can't go and scout again because that's just be suicidal. And you just go into that list of suicidal scouts. Um, although he's already done more damage than most scouts would have done. So he decides to take up side shots on the guys on the hill, which is a very viable tactic. So he puts some rounds into the side of this um, T29. Two of his first three rounds um, go into it. Bounces his fifth sh uh, fourth shot and tracks with his, um, his fifth shot. Now, shooting at the front of a T29 turret is not going to really get you anywhere, so he decides to go for a re reload. You've got to really manage your reloads well in these um, water loading tanks um, because anyone can just run in get and t fire off six shots and then die and good credits and that's where I see a lot of all those failing they just run in shoot their shoot their load <laughs> pardon the pardon the phrase um, and yeah that's pretty much all they do which is a bit sad he blind fires this time he sets him on fire which was really good I believe that was setting him on fire we'll have to double check after the battle um, but yeah, he's in a really good position here. They can't see him because they've either got... Well, the KV... The Russian tanks have got a very average um, view range and the other tanks probably have lower low-end crews. I don't know about anyone else there, but when I was at Tier 7, I still had 50% crews running around in my tanks. So I thought, oh, I didn't know I could transfer crews. Um, I learned that very quickly um, later on because I decided I wanted to be better. Um, that's when I got the IS-3, uh, which is a really good tank. It's a great tank. PS it though. I've sold a lot of my good tanks, unfortunately, and I'm looking forward to when I can actually buy them back and start playing them again. So, he's helped finish off the guys on the hill. He's now going to um, go and take apart this uh, IS-2, um, or try to at least. Now, there's only three tanks left, so this battle has pretty much been won by uh, his team. Um, He's got two kills, he's on 1,524 damage, which is really good for a tier 6 light light tank. Um, but he's not done there yet, he's still got a fair bit to go. I mean, he's still got this tier 7 heavy tank to take care of. So, he um, comes in backwards, which is something you should always try with this tank, it's um, very wise. So he decides to run around. Um, I'm actually surprised, he probably could have just turned around and shot Oak. Um, and then hidden for a bit longer. He might have been able to survive, but yeah, I'm not sure. He, I don't know what I would have done in this situation because I'm normally dead by now. <laughs> and he just like, starts putting round and around the side of him and sets him on fire, and off he goes. So there you go, that's the end of the game. Um, so Oak managed, after a bit of an average start, um, managed to pick it up, pick up his game and um, got 2,314 damage. Um, 16, uh, sorry, 18 hits in total. Um, and he had a WN8 of 13,102, which is phenomenal. Um, although everyone, everyone, well, most people in the know who want to had their WN8, you should play light tanks because they've got a low um, damage rating. So 
you're not expected to do lots of damage on a light tank, so if you do lots of damage on a light tank, um, you'll get great W8 scores, so you can pad your W8, W8, but if you want to get into a good clan, don't do that, because they'll see that and go, oh, that's how you got it, so, yeah, try to get better at other tanks, harder tanks, so, um, but anyway, that's not what we're talking about, so, yeah, good, good work, um, Oak, this was a really good um, game, um, all, and a very short one at that, and this game didn't even last five minutes. Um, yeah, the only thing I, re I reckon he could have done better was probably not do that derpy rush to the start, but in saying that, that can that can usually be okay, because I'd, it really depends on what the enemy team does. It's very situational on this map, and this map is terrible for light tanks, because it's all corridors. Um, the only real good section for light tanks is at this side, but the problem is, on this side of the map, uh, the 1-2 line, it's just a massive corridor, so... <coughs> pardon me. So, not a lot he could have done there. Um, I, I personally would have probably snuck in around here, hung around there, then maybe come round and come through and come into here, the way we ended up. Um, although he would have often missed out on some damage there, so I don't know. He... He he made the right choice by turning this way. I, I probably would have made a mistake and probably gone that way and got got killed. So yeah, another thing he could have done was um, popped in through here. But yeah, it, well, who's to say? This is the thing. Who's to say if you could have done better or if I could have done better? Um, I think he did. Um, f for what happened at the start, I think he did phenomenally um, well at the end. Um, he pi he picked the right moment by setting up here and just taking out, or, well not taking it out, but also just providing the great fire support that he provided over here, so yeah, and this probably more than, more than likely allowed these guys to come and take, take the hill apart, um, especially this T29, he st he just, he backed off immediately, he didn't know what was going on, um, this tiger here, he might have put a round or two into these guys again, again which m would have, um, maybe halted or even lost the hill for them. This is the thing, this 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 T29 could have just gone on to wipe out this whole flank and by distracting him and making him go, whoa, what's what's going on? He probably, he effectively took him out of the game. And that's what you got to do. You're a light tank. You, you're you not really there to kill. You're there to disrupt, to annoy, to distract. You're, you're there to really hit home and start going... Um, to town with you so it's psychological warfare really it, in a in a way in a very small very basic way it's it's psychological warfare so you've got to think of with your light tanks you can't just run around spot some guys then die that's a waste of a light tank a light tank's all about rushing in and doing stuff so anyway what we'll do is we'll now we'll move on to the post game stats So it's a mastery game. He got the arsonist medal, another medal. I don't know what that in the middle is, and bruiser. He also got tank sniper, which is a really good um, medal to get. I don't get. I don't have many of those. He got uh, 1,984 XP. He got a 94 hit percent hit rate, and did 2,437 damage. Um, yes, killing three players, which is really good. So. Now we'll move on to the second plate. As you can see, he came top of his team for um, damage and XP with 2,437 and 1,323 XP. That's just base without premium account. And with three kills as well. Um, so not bad for a tier 6 French light tank. Um, and he had some pretty... Uh, big contenders for those um, for that damage as well, so no, not many uh, players didn't hold their weight in some way in that battle, which was really impressive. So, yeah, we'll go to the next plate. I'm making a habit of this, I keep forgetting to hit record. Um, shots fired, 22, 21 hits, and 20 penetrations. Um, got a good bunch of damage, he got 1,111 spotting, uh, sorry, spotting um, damage from over 300 metres, um, which is quite good and one reason why he got the tank sniper medal. He got 
he got two uh, penetrations early on, which you saw, um, but he recovered quite well from. Um, but the numbers on this tank's pretty bad, so there's no way anyone was going to actually fail to penetrate. Um, yeah, so quite a good game all round. Um, not a massive profit, but you, I find you don't make a lot of profit in these tanks at this this level. Um, you have to do a lot of damage for that to happen, and he's even running a premium account. He's only made forty thousand and a win, and then with a profit of twenty thousand, um, it's a reason why I use premium tanks to uh, keep my cash up. So yeah, um, really good game there, Oak. Good game, and uh, please send me more if you feel like it. Um, don't guess the rest of you out there. Please send me send me replays. I've actually got another one from another subscriber, um, and I will air that shortly. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, replay. I certainly enjoyed um, watching it and having a, a good um, think about it. Um, learn a bit with about the AMX 12T. Um, be on the lookout for other subscriber replays um, from my subscribers and also um, my own AMX 12T replays which will be coming up soon. I've bought the tank and I really like it. It's uh, a lot of fun and uh, interesting tank to play so yeah you'll see more of my thoughts on it in those replays so yeah uh, until next time guys i hope you enjoy yourselves um keep on tanking and uh i'll see you next time